The Five Nights at Freddy's franchise now has a total of 11 different games that create a deep and complex story and in August its 10th anniversary game will finally be released. Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit will be the 12th game in the franchise but will be the first game based on one of the Fazbear Fright novels which opens many doors for new games but also raises many questions. So in this video, I'm going to go over the lore that will be expected from this game and most importantly, I'm going to go over the possibility that this game will somehow be canon to the greater franchise. So let's get started. Fazbear's Fright Into the Pit was released on December 20th. 26, 2019 and was the first installment to this new series of FNAF books. For a quick summary, our main character Oswald visits a remodeled version of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, renamed Jeff's Pizza, and jumps into an old ball pit. Oswald wakes up in the time period of 1985 where he watches Spring Bonnie murder six children. Oswald's father then pulls him out but he gets trapped by Spring Bonnie. In the present day, his father is replaced by Spring Bonnie but no one except Oswald notices it. Oswald then returns to the pizzeria, rescues his dad, and kills Spring Bonnie. And this is exactly what we see happen in the trailer. We first see Spring Bonnie trying to lure someone into a dark room before we see Oswald crawl out of a vent. He then walks around the abandoned pizzeria in 1985 until we then see him in the present day at a ball pit where Spring Bonnie comes out of it and captures his dad. Then throughout the trailer we see him trying to escape from Spring Bonnie until he finds a Fredbear Springlock suit and puts it on. The trailer then ends with Spring Bonnie staring at you through the costume in a very chilling way. Now immediately this game is very different from anything we've seen in the franchise before. Not only in its 2D pixel graphics but also in its story. The ball pit specifically has interesting abilities that we've never seen before, like time travel. This is how Oswald visits 1985 and it's how Spring Bonnie comes back to the present day. We've obviously never seen anything like this in the game's timeline and there's even more differences between this book and the games. For starters, Jeff Pizzas doesn't exist in the game since none of the original pizzerias have ever been remodeled. Oswald and his father are also never mentioned in the game and they don't even exist. And finally, but most importantly, Spring Bonnie's design is very different than in the games. The head is designed slightly different with it being larger and in general it has a bulkier design. He also has these sharp teeth that we even see in the trailer but in the games the teeth are just the normal ones from the animatronic. So now that we've established the lore and story of Into the Pit and that it's obviously in its own continuity, let's finally discuss if it could ever be possible that this game is canon to the game's timeline. Well the reason I think this is even possible is because of three main reasons, with one being the context around this game's release, the purpose of this game's release, and finally because of a single poster that all fans are talking about. Starting with the context of the game's release, it isn't just another FNAF game. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Into the Pit is the franchise's 10 year anniversary game and for it to just be a game in its own separate timeline feels a bit random. Especially when every other game in the franchise has been connected and for the most part it's been one continuous story. Sure there have been games like Freddy in Space and even a Roblox game that was recently leaked that aren't a part of the franchise, but the difference with FNAF Into the Pit is the build up of the game as it feels very important and the fact that it's been in production for years now. There's just something more to this game, so why introduce a whole new different timeline with a whole new set of characters and stories? This would also create even more confusion in the community as this would mean we now have the games, the books, the movies, and now games about the books. And because there are many books based on different set of series, this means we could get different games on each set of novels that would make things even more confusing. So again, I just find it hard to believe that this game would just be a recreation of events that we've seen in the novel already. But moving on to the next point which is the purpose of this game, originally Scott Cawthon stated that he would release these books to help the community answer mysteries about the past and to give us clues about the past in the franchise. And Into the Pit was the first book to do exactly that. We learn important things about the past like the fact that the first missing children incident took place in 1985 and important facts about Spring Bonnie. These facts are still used when trying to solve the game's story or timeline so it's clear that this book was pivotal for the franchise. But if this game is trying to achieve the same thing the book was, what about the game's story is still a mystery from the past while being connected to the newer games? Well the first thing and really the only thing that comes to mind is the mimic. Almost all of the biggest mysteries from the past have been answered except the origin of the Mimic. We know this animatronic predates most of the earliest pizzerias and this game would be the perfect opportunity to answer who this is while still connecting it to the newer games. But moving on to the last point which actually relates to the Mimic theory is this poster seen in the original pizzeria. Now although it's not clear who exactly this is in the poster and what it says, the two main ideas are that it's either DJ Music Man or Circus Baby. Personally, I think this is Circus Baby but no matter who this is, the game is already differentiating its 
it so from the book, as in the book, there are no mentions of any of these characters. There's a popular theory going around that the ball pit Oswald goes into will not just bring him into the past, but it will also bring him to different pizzerias from the franchise like the sister location pizzeria, and this is why we see this poster. And in this pizzeria is where I think we will finally learn who the Mimic is. Ever since the release of FNAF Ruin, many people, including myself, have believed that the Mimic has some relation to sister location as the funtime animatronics and the Mimic's design are very similar. Some people even believe that Circus Baby and the Mimic are the same character. So what if, in Into the Pit, we see Oswald explore different locations in the franchise with one of them being the sister location pizzeria and this is where we finally learn who the Mimic is. Thus, not only making this game can into the franchise, but it could also possibly set up a future game with the Mimic. But if any of this were to be true, that would also mean that the Fazbear Fight novels would all need to be canon as well to the game's timeline which would make things a lot more confusing, especially when things like time travel would be introduced. The only way it could work is if this game is only inspired by the book and not a one-to-one -one recreation. Or this game could be in its own timeline and answer who the Mimic is as it's answering mysteries from the past just like the book. But this is just a theory and although I'd love for it to be true, I think it's more likely that this game will be separate from the main game's timeline and will just be a fun 10th anniversary game. But what do you guys think of 5 Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit? Do you guys think it will somehow be canned to the game's timeline and are you guys excited? Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and thanks for watching.